Hello, and thanks for selecting In Car Series Season 2, Episode 5. <laughs> uh, today it's Boxing Day, 26th of December 2022. Uh, yesterday I had a, a good Christmas, I visited some friends. Um, well, a friend came up to visit us and then we went in uh, their car for, to visit other friends and that. Uh, family as well. Um, we had a steak pie for our Christmas dinner yesterday. Uh, so friends and family were in. <coughs> it was a good, a good day. So uh, today I'm going to try out the Tim Hortons uh, fast food takeaway. It's new to Dundee. Now I haven't done any virtually no research into it. I've seen it opened up recently. Uh, it's a Canadian like sort of restaurant cafe kind of thing. I'm going to Google it up and just give a wee bit of spiel about it off uh, Google. Um, it's quite a new place, like for Dundee that is, because uh, Dundee's not had one of them until now. So I'm just going to Google it up. Tim Hortons. Uh, we got a bit of. Uh, yeah, it's on Kingsway East. I know that one. <laughs> I know where it is. Locations. I maybe should have just Wikipedia it. Eh? So, but let's think. So, as usual, I'm on a low. I'm doing a, a live. Well, not live. I'm doing a recording, and as usual, let's go slow. And then, you know, it's always the same, is it? Tim Hortons. Uh, Tim Hortons, commonly nicknamed as Tim's or Timmy's, is a Canadian multinational coffee house and restaurant chain. It's based in Toronto. Tim Hortons serves coffees, donuts, and other fast food items. It's Canada's largest quick serving restaurant chain with 5,352 restaurants in 15 different countries as of June 30th, 2022. And just reading it directly off of uh, Wikipedia. So it was formerly Tim's Horton's Donuts. Tim, it's also Tim's Donuts Limited. Then the TDL Group, oh, whatever. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, Industry restaurants funded in May the 17th, 1964 at Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. It's funded then. Funders Tim Horton, Jim Charade. Charade, Charade, so I can't pronounce it. I can't really. Come on, you can just Google it up and you'll get it. Uh, headquarters in Canada. Number of locations 5,352 as of June the 30th this year, 2022. Areas served, <coughs> oh, loads of countries, including Britain. I'm not going to go through all the list. Can't even pronounce half of them. Well, some of them we could, but uh, that's, that's international. There's quite a few companies that it's in, so uh, countries that it's in. Uh, products: coffee, smoothies, tea, donuts, bagels, sandwiches, wraps, and breakfast. Uh, revenue: three point three. 4 billion in 2021, blah blah blah. The company was founded in 1964 in Hamilton, Ontario, in Ontario by Canadian hockey player Tim Horton uh, from 1930 to 1974 and Jim Charlie 1934 to 2008. After initial venture in hamburger restaurants. In 1967, Horton partnered investor Ron Joyce who assumed control over operations after Horton died in 1974. Joyce expanded the chain into a multi-billion dollar franchise. So they'd left the Charade, or as I think, <laughs> Charade, isn't it? C-H-A-R-A-D-E. Ch Charade, is that how you pronounce that? Charade left, not good be the words you probably know. Charade left the organisation in 1966 and briefly returned in 1970 and 1993 through to 1996. In August of Sorry, August the 26th, 2014, Burger King agreed to purchase Tim Hortons for US dollars, 11.4 billion. The two chains became subsidiaries, subsidiaries of Canadian American Holdings Company Restaurant Brands International, which is majority owned by Brazilian investment firm 3G Capital on December 15th, 
2014. So that's not off the top of my head, it's read straight off of Google. <laughs> um, no, there's loads of stuff on it. It's just to give you an idea as to what it looks like. So I'm going away to drive to the Dundee branch, which is new to Dundee. It only opened up last month, I think. I don't know, was it earlier this month even? Uh, oh, this is steaming up. Jeez, I'll wait to get this. So you'll know that the exhaust is still needing to get repaired, as you will hear, if you like this. Yes, I like it. It is. <coughs> Gee whiz. It isn't a, uh, I won't get through an MOT like that. It'll fail an MOT because of the noise decibel emissions. No, it doesn't pollute any extra hydrocarbons into the atmosphere because the two catalytic converters are still intact. So it's just basically from the turbocharger into catalytic converter 1, catalytic converter 2, which are not silencers. They just filter out the poisonous gases. Then it should go into the cat batch section, which is silencer 1 and silencer 2, and out the back of the car. That's the cat batch section. Well, that cat batch section on this car, my car, is missing at the moment. So the exhaust downpipe comes out about in the middle, just under the gear stick gear lever and brake area because it was blown out originally at the back I've probably told you some other ones if you haven't then telling you now uh, it blew up between the uh, fracture the stainless steel pipe fracture between silencer one and silencer two and the hot gases exhaust gases had blown out too near the heat shield where the petrol tank is so I wasn't happy with that it's a dealer part I've got to wait ages for it I'm not paying dealer money I can't afford dealer money so I've got another arrangement with a garage uh, they're on holiday at the moment, so I've got to wait and then getting back and then I'll arrange to get the uh, exhaust system installed. But at the moment it's just running with the downpipe, with the catalytic converter 1 and catalytic converter 2. I couldn't take the downpipe off this because it would cause the engine management light to come on. It would throw up an ignition light because you've got oxygen sensor 1 and oxygen sensor 2. And they read the oxygen levels from the exhaust in the exhaust gases after being treated by the catalytic converters you have to remap the engine if you want to be a straight downpipe cat back uh, sorry a cat delete or uh, to remove the catalytic converters all together basically a uh, decat if you decat the car you've got to uh, remap the engine because the performance will the the brain will the engine management will probably make the engine run more leaner because it's not detecting enough, what was it, it's detecting too much oxygen. Okay, I'm not going to go into it, but you have to remap it, otherwise the engine management light will come on. I've done it over one of my cars before this, and uh, threw up an engine management light. Um, but this is needing to get sorted, it will, sounds brilliant, I mean, I can't really read it now with people about, because it'd be wondering what heck, I know I annoy people, but, uh, no, nah, I won't be, you'll hear it as I go anyway. If you like that kind of thing, by the way, I suggest you wear headphones, because you'll get the sound, you'll actually hear the proper acoustics through headphones. I mean, if you're playing it through a mobile phone, you won't hear the acoustics as well. I won't reproduce the sounds very well. But if you play it through a powerful surround sound system in your house, or a set of headphones, because it'll be right up against your ear and you'll get the sound, the engine light, you know. So I like it. But it does need fix. Like I say, it is, I wouldn't pass an MLT like that. So technically it is, well it is a, you know, it's, it's illegal because it's noise pollution. But it isn't actually putting any more hydrocarbons like what you might think because, as I say, the catalytic converters are still on. It will, however, potentially seep gases into the cabin because the exhaust is here. So it will seep up underneath. It should be coming at the tail, that's about the only thing. But I've got both windows open so that any, if any, especially when you're stationary, if any carbon monoxide gets in, it's, you won't smell carbon monoxide. Uh, it's scentless. And it's, uh, right, so enough on that, I'm just going to get moving up to Tim Hortons and hopefully it will be open because this is Boxing Day I checked online, it said it would be open, so let's go, just one second yeah, I was just doing that in two files because I want to watch the party over this two separate phones right, so let's go to Dundee's Tim Hortons you all had a good Christmas, <coughs> depending on when you watched this obviously, um, well, hope you've uh, all of 
viewers, I hope all my subscribers, all my viewers, and everybody else, I uh, hope you've all had a good Christmas, and if, you've, if you're watching this before the new year, then I wish all my subscribers, all my viewers, and everybody else, uh, all the best wishes for 2023. Today because the well the buses weren't running yesterday. If you don't know, already you know I drive buses. I drive these buses as you can see up ahead. That's Dundee Explore Dundee. Um, buses weren't running on Christmas Day. It's only a skeleton service on Boxing Day, and that's the same with uh, New Year. I won't run on New Year's Day, but I want a skeleton service on the second of January. And I'm off today, and then also off on January the second. So, but I go back to work tomorrow for two days and off on Thursday back again on Friday and then off Chris uh, well, New Year's Eve or Pugmanay and off uh, New Year's Day and the second of July so I'm off for three days after Friday <coughs> so uh, I think the best way to get to Tim Horns I'll go on the ring road if you, I'll take the water from actually this is Perth Road, I'm going down the, the uh, Dundee's Perth Road. Now, you've, buses and that can go straight on, buses, taxis and cycles can go straight on. There's a no right turn, you've got a turn left except buses, taxis and cycles. So I've got to go up the West Market Gate, around the Circle Open, just to think which is easiest. I might actually double back, go down onto the South Market Gate, and if you look there you'll see maybe a wee bit of the Chester Gardens, Christmas lights, um, Christmas decorations and that. So, every time I look at that, it looks like it's lopsided. It's just an optical illusion because the dashboard, that bit there, is curved. The dashboard's curved and it, make, it makes it look like it's uh, lopsided. People will wonder what I'm doing, I'm doing hand gestures and kind of like showing you, doing body, la doing body language to use on the camera. Uh, you know, when they're speaking like that, and people will be wondering what the heck, you know. They may wonder what we're talking to, because it's only me here, <laughs> speaking and doing body language into that, and they'll be like, what's... That's, uh... And just watching the uh, mobility scooter on the inside there, it's quite a big mobility scooter. Just got to watch for traffic, especially when you're driving a big vehicle, like a bus. Watch what's on your inside. So it's what, they've got a turn left for their cars and that, normal traffic. Uh, buses, taxis, cycles are like that, go straight on. It's an alright turn for any traffic. So, so I'll just burrow in. This is, the, say, this is the west port around the boat coming up. Uh, Dundee's west Margaret Gate coming up the west port around the boat. Uh, So what I'll do with the review, I'm going to probably do maybe, well I'll do the, the main video of this one, um, and I'll make a separate video as well, so I'll do the review, so basically this video, the, the review will be piggybacked on, this. I'll be included in this video basically, I'll be right at the end of this video, but I'll do another video on my channel just with the review, so I'll be, I'll cut the, the review section off of this and make a separate video. So this is like the NCAR series episode, you know, and just kind of blurry away, wishing you the best, uh, best wishes for New Year, if you, if you watch this before New Year, New Year that is, and then just wishing, saying to you is it, yeah. Hope you're having a good Christmas. So uh, you're watching me on this in car series, and it's just in a just kind of blur. But yeah, it's easier for me just to do that and tell you what's going on because it's, it doesn't edit so much. I just record it as it is. There's only one thing you do need to do: those flip the thing because the clarity on that will be oh, it's a bit complicated to explain. I explained that one of my other videos earlier, but I've got to do that because the dual recording on this device. Unfortunately, if I was to put it out the way it is, you would see the you would see me, the mainstream here, sitting on the on the left. You think it's a left-hand drive car, but it isn't. It's a right-hand drive car. So I've got to basically flip the 
pictures. But that section out there, because that's the right polarity, overlap them and save them. I explained that in an earlier video. I can't remember what one it was. Actually, it was the first one of season two. It was us, the introduction of this uh, dual record camera. I just gave it another season. In due course, I'll maybe get the camera up a wee bit higher and I'll call it season three. So the big wheel's on. If you look on to the right, straight ahead, well, look to the right on the screen, you'll see the, the festive wheel. I didn't know that. I didn't like that wheel anymore. But it's running, Boxing Day. <coughs> so I've done a video on that as well, the winter, the winter fest at Dundee's Slicer Gardens on the right. It's also got a helper skelter, it's got a, a small bar, there's other wee small carnival rides, there's lots of hot food uh, outlets like huts, you know, decorated, like Christmas decorated uh, fast food takeaway huts. Well, basically, it's just a it's just a burger bar. It's dressed up to look Christmassy, but it's expensive. Like you know, uh, there's a few of them. You get donuts, chocolates, hot drinks. Um, you get uh, you get there's a you fry marshmallow. Put a marshmallows over the fire. I keep on using my hands and then cars behind me. What the heck? I'm thinking. And <laughs> I better not. Distract them. Wonder because there's only you. There's only me here. Uh, so <laughs> I keep getting. I don't know if you heard that car. I went on Longshore Terrace here. He was giving it some power. So I'm going to maybe miss it some of this traffic. Actually, I'll try and. Is that a lot of that? I'll be going into the Gallagher like retail park now. Stock Street, Dundee's East Stock Street, and the Gallagher Retail Park there is on the left. Where it work is straight up ahead, that's the bus garage just right up in front. Mild in 
we had the big floods we know, the thaw, but there was a bit of snow, <coughs> and we had a lot of heavy rain as well, brought on floods, um, so it's sort of getting a bit cold again. This is a squat fight from the bottom, just coming up to an hill. Websites have said places are open, turn up and they're shut. Now I've had that often, but this is open, thank goodness. So, so like I say, I will um, just do the review on this video as well. Ah, uh, later on I'll probably just, you know, might put another one up, just the review on itself. So we are sure of this. This is actually going to be included in there. This is going to be part of this uh, episode, the review, and then as I say, I'll do another video where I could just take that. You know, I, just, I wouldn't be the end. This is the end car series, but the other one, the review, will just be the review. Like, yeah, that's a nice GT Mustang here. Yeah. Big sports car. Oh, that sun's blinding, isn't it? So I'll get myself parked here. So this is at the Dundee East, uh, Milton Craig is just on the left, it's as the Milton Craig, this is just not far from DC Thompson's, um, that's Dundee's main uh, journalist, the jute jamming journalism Dundee was famous for, but the journalism part still going, the jute and the jamming industries have stopped decades ago. But Dundee was famous for that, the jute jamming journalism industries. The journalism industry is still going, called DC Thompson's. The DC Thompson's headquarters is on Ward Road, in the centre of Dundee. Uh, and the DC Thompson's factory, where they actually make the, you know, the, the comics and magazines and papers, etc. It's done in that orange building, just behind me. Well, that's not going to be much help to you, is it? You're not going to see that. I'll, I'll have to show you that. I'll probably do another video on that, because this will make this video... I'll just pan this video up too long. I don't want to do too much on one video. I don't want to make them too long. But, and anyway, that, the uh, Tim Hortons drive... The, the rest, they have a drive through here as well. Uh, it's new to Dundee, as I said earlier. Um, I read a wee bit of stuff off of Google, Wikipedia for you, just to give you an idea. Because if, prior to that, I don't know. No idea what it was. I kind of was a food takeaway. I went in once, got a burger, so that was quite good. I'll come back again. So this time we'll give you, I'll give you my experience. Uh, see, I don't, I don't. That's one thing I don't do and won't do. I don't give things reviews and star ratings like that. I don't take sides or give them a rating. That's not me. I don't. I don't like to do that. Um, what I do is just show you my experience. You know. I'll show you what I what I bought. I'll show you what the place looks like. Uh, I'll show you a bit about the menu, what it looks like inside when I could film it because I can't just go and film in the side with people in it. I could just have to do it kind of discreetly and just a quick snap here and there, like just to give you an idea of what the place looks like. And you make your mind up. You make your mind up what you think of what I've shown you. I'll give you an idea if you haven't been in it before. Uh, I'll give you an idea of what it's like from the footage I've shown you, and you'll see how I find it. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's uh, bad or good, I'm not going to get a rating. I'll just show you what I, my experience with it, and that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, uh, so that's pretty much the time but done for this episode. So I'll just get on with the rest of the, with the, the, the uh, review. Right, okay. That's DC Thompson's head, by the way, that brown ball not the head.
<clears throat> that's the flagship coffee that I got. Uh, that's the cheese and curry sauce. Hot dog. It's a curry, curry hot dog. Guy. So, um, I came to just under a tenner, I showed you on the receipt what I bought. Uh, now the, the food was quite tasty, I wouldn't say it would be overly filling. Uh, it's really just a hot dog and some lattice fries as you saw, and you get a free dip with it as well. The donut balls that I bought were separate. Um, <clears throat> now, the, it's very comfortable seats in there as you might have saw in my video. It's cashless. Sorry, it's uh, card only, unfortunately. So you've got to have contactless or a card payment of some sort. Don't accept cash. In this particular store at Dundee, this branch in Dundee, doesn't. Uh, this one doesn't take cash. Um, <clears throat> the door that you go in. Now, in my view, I think they should have had it like double doors because if you're sitting next to the doors, every time that door opens, you get a draft. So I reckon double doors would have been better because it's quite an open space, you see. And you'll get a lot of wind. Just going, does it blow straight in there eh, every time the door opens. Um, no, that's just my sort of experience. But uh, you saw the food. Um, so it's more a quick snack kind of thing than anything else. It seems to specialise in coffees. That seems to be their uh, one of their flagship things. Um, they do other stuff, breakfast, I've not tried that. Um, there isn't really much in the way of a meat, like beef burgers or anything like that, like when you get a Burger King. It's sort of more like chicken, hot dogs, chicken burgers, hot dogs, and stuff like that. I did try and show you the menu. There isn't really any menus as such, it's all virtual menus. And uh, I find it a bit annoying because the big menu above the counter tends to go off 
and puts advertising on instead. So you've got to wait on the menu coming back round on its uh, on its rounds, unless you pay by the, you know the you've got the self payment bits, the you know your self order. It's like the big thing in front. You just do your order yourself. I think that's the way things are being manipulated to go anyway. You know, cashless. And you know, I like that with self service uh, scans and everything, tills. Um, but besides that, it was, uh, it was, a, it was my experience. So, as I say, I was here once before, the first time, and I came back again. So it's, it's pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, like I say, I don't give judges judgments like a star rating, I don't do that. I just tell you my experience of it, you make your own mind up, you know. So, it has a drive through as well, if you're interested in just. You know, sitting in your car and eating it, you've got that option as well. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, there you go. That's Tim Hortons and Dundee, Dundee Drive Through, uh, Dundee East. Okay, right. Cheers for watching. Bye.